we're here got her all warmed up right there and we have a trailer that needs us all right let's make ourselves useful oh. it's been a good morning so far Ooh, i still haven't had a chance to wash my truck i'm embarrassed why am i even showing you shouldn't show you shouldn't show you truck needs some bull snot and uh, that's another thing I was going to talk to you about. Uh, I'm going to be working together with a company called Bullstunt. They make cleaning products for your vehicles. And I can't wait to show you them. I got a whole bunch at home. Let's go to work. So I've got a variety of merch from them as well. Like I said, you guys might recognize this. Uh, it's the brand that uh, Tony Justice, popular country singer, making trucking songs. He also talks about it as well quite a bit. He loves this stuff. So I wanted to give it a shot as well. So we got in touch with, with each other and uh, we're gonna work together. I'm gonna show you what these products can do. Uh, I'm gonna use them on my pickup, on my truck. You'll see it in the upcoming videos as I use them. But uh, that is the product I'm going to be using to keep everything clean from now on. I got these shades as well. What do you think? I got the approval from the wife yesterday. So if the wife likes them, they're good, right? And they got the logo on the side there. Well, it's not. Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> there you go. And you can go to my Facebook. If you haven't followed me on Facebook already, you can uh, head down to the links down below. Below all my videos, I have all the links to my social media. Facebook is where I'm most active. You can uh, like the page there if you don't mind. Then you'll be able to uh, see all these things that I talk about before I talk about them on the blog. Because I shared a link with you uh, yesterday. It's from Brown Ox Ventures. You can go check it out there at your leisure. For now, I've got to get my computer all set up here so that uh, I can go to work. It's a little too dark for shades today, but I'm going to keep them with me. 5143 is the trailer we're looking for. 5143. It'll probably be in the loaded lineup. I'm going along the empty line here right now. I don't know why I'm over here. I'm, I'm assuming they told me to deliver it. I'm assuming it is loaded. Unless I'm delivering the whole trailer. I doubt that. 5143. I got 5134 here. That's close. Maybe we should just take that one. That's close enough. No? Oh, okay. 5143. 5143. Where are you? We're getting to the end here. It's gonna be the last one. 5143. I don't see it. Maybe they left it in the dock over here? Which trailer is that? Oh, that's 5190. Oh, there's a bunch of trailers over here. Oh, I'm still not seeing it. I must have driven right past it. Remember, we were on the empty lineup over here before. Let's go along the loaded lineup. That's probably where I'll find my loaded trailer. And look at this. It's my favorite Keystone truck. Well, it's actually a dark hole truck. My favorite dark hole truck right in front of us here. I mean, I might pick... If I had a choice, I'd probably pick it in a different color, but that is a nice looking Kenworth. I like darker colors myself, but that's just, you know, I'm driving a white truck right now. I can't really talk. Can't always choose. Okay, 5143. Come on, where are you? Don't hide from me. I will find you. Don't play games with me on a Monday morning. Here it is. It's right here. I'm trying out loud. You guys, 
You guys are gonna hurt yourself. Are you broken? You broken? No, you're good. You guys are some tough cookies, man. You've fallen off of all kinds of things. The only way I broke my other camera was actually driving over it, but these GoPros are actually pretty resilient. But seriously, you guys gotta hold on. I can't lose another one. I don't have another backup. I'm gonna have to get another one of these GoPros soon. This camera, I'm trying to be careful, okay? But you guys keep falling. Falling all over the place. Maybe you're just a bit clumsy, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's see, what do we got here? What do we got here? The light's all working, light's all working, light's working up there. See, even some trailers have the signals on the top marker lights up there too, so that you can see what we're doing uh, above traffic. I like that. It's very nice. It's very nice. Let's look under here. License plate light working. It's important not to forget about that, especially during the day. It's very easy to forget about that because you can't see it. What is inside here? Is that a Zamboni? Now this is the most Canadian it gets. Except there's a USA strap on there for some reason. What's that two in there? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm serious. It doesn't get more Canadian than this. I got a load of Zambonis. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope I get to dr get to drive these off. I wonder where it's going to. What's at the front? Can't see, let me step up on this bar here. Ah, without like breaking my face. Come on, come on Josh. What do we got up there? That looks like uh, skid steers. So what, we got two skid steers in the front? A fancy Zamboni, and then just a regular Zamboni. Cool. Never delivered a Zamboni before. The first for everything say on the side maybe it says where they're from as far as I can tell they're just plain <laughs> just regular old Zambonis okay it's a funny word Zamboni who thought of that who, who decided we were gonna call these weird things Zamb Zambonis I, I guess it's a weird vehicle so uh, a weird name for a weird vehicle if you don't know what a Zamboni is <clears throat> Uh, I guess I should explain it to you. These are the machines that clear the ice between periods at hockey games. Uh, they go on the ice and they they uh, collect all of the, uh, the snow that's developed from skating on it. And then they put a fresh layer of water down to make the ice nice and smooth again. They're called Zambonis. I just like saying that word. <laughs> oh boy, oh, today's gonna be a good day. I just got to the customer and I just realized something. I opened the door. Okay, I guess I'm asking. Can't expect everything to work, I guess, but look at this. Wow! I got interior lights, guys. Look at this. Ha! Ah. Well, that makes me happy. What about this one? Oh, wow. Okay, so this bulb is just burnt out then, I guess. I can probably replace that. Maybe I'll switch that one with that one. Since I don't sit there very often, but. Look at that! When did that happen? I figured out that it was the fuse that was causing the problems. Uh, I looked in my fuse box a little while ago, because I thought, well, maybe it's just a bad fuse. And it was, it, the, the fuse was blown. So I put a new fuse in there, right? As soon as I turn the truck on, boop, pops the fuse. So I knew there must have been some kind of uh, short somewhere in there that was blowing the fuse. Looks like they got her fixed. Nice, thanks guys. All right, let's go and load some Zambonis, shall we? Got the gloves here. It's an outdoor dock. I guess they're just gonna drive them right down the ramp. Let's see if I'm straight. How good of a how good of a backer upper am I? Decent. I don't know. I'd give that a thumbs up. I might have to back up a little further yet. I pulled forward just a little bit to leave a little bit of a, a gap, but uh, I can probably 
because they might need to adjust this right and I didn't want to be pressed right against it so they'll probably adjust it up just a little bit and then uh, I'll back up and touch the dock but yeah cool 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 gotta figure out where everybody is got a Zamboni for you anybody want a Zamboni oh there's another Zamboni over there look <laughs> oh another one back there that one doesn't look like it's in very good shape but that one looks good Cool, cool, cool. Well, I wasn't able to film the offloading part of the Zambonis, unfortunately. I really wanted to, but it uh, didn't work out today. But yeah, you'll have to trust me, it was, uh, there was nothing to report. They just literally drove them down a ramp and we were done. I didn't unload them myself, but we're back at the yard here, hooking up to a roll tight and then going inside to look for instructions. Where's my gloves? I always put my gloves in different places every time, just to mess with me, just to keep me on my toes. Oh, oh ho, ho. what do we got here? What do we got here? Lamborghini? There's a Lamborghini in my trailer, guys. Don't touch it. 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 Look at this thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look how short it is. Look how short it is. It's like up to my waist. That's how low it is. Wow. Wow. Carbon fiber mirrors, you can bet that's real carbon fiber. And I'm not gonna show you the license plate, but uh, it's a Winnipeg Humane Society uh, specialized license plate, which means that they're animal lovers. So they're Lamborghini owners and animal lovers. I wanna be their friend. I wanna be their friend. I don't even, I don't even have to drive it. I, I don't want to drive it. I'm not asking to drive it, but can I have a ride? That's awesome. Okay. We're going to be extra super careful with this freight today. Not that we're not careful with all our freight, but we're going to keep in mind that there's a Lamborghini in my trailer today. Nice. I was excited when I just opened the door and saw that I had this car in here. This is a nice car already. Oh, but there's a Lamborghini over there. That's a, I'm a, <clears throat> I'm a grown man. Yeah, there's a nice car over there. That cool, that cool. And then we got this, uh, this Lexus SUV here as well, which is a nice SUV. Uh, whoever owns this, it is a nice SUV, but I'm sorry it's parked in front of a Lamborghini. So kind of, yeah. It's a Lamborghini in my trailer. Don't touch the car. Don't touch the cars. Don't touch the cars. Okay. I apologize, guys. I got a little flustered. <laughs> Lamborghini is uh, pretty much my favorite supercar out there. And uh, I know we've had them come through here before. But uh, I've never personally uh, had the privilege of moving one. It's kind of made my whole week. I think it's made my year. <laughs> Wonder where it's going. I'm just putting up to the front here. I'm going to get the paperwork for it and uh, get instructions. Thank goodness because I need instructions for this one. I don't want to mess this up. We are going to drive like we have a Lamborghini in the trailer, okay? Nice and easy. Slow and easy. The yard guys are wondering why I'm going so slow. Got a Lamborghini, man. A Lamborghini. Don't mind me. I've got the keys. 
these. Which one of these is the keys? Okay, I'm not gonna, gonna make sure I don't show the wrong things here. <laughs> Lamborghini. This is the first set of Lamborghini keys I have ever held in my life. I feel so powerful. <laughs> I'm lucky. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to tell you or show you where I'm taking it. But uh, she's in good hands. So I'll talk to you once I get back here. Alright? So remember how I always say we got to make sure we drop our trailers with the landing gear on that concrete pad, not on the asphalt? I have a good example here of what happens when people just don't care and drop it on the asphalt. I just parked my trailer in here and I pulled up to Toulon and back. You'll notice that I put mine on the cement pad that runs through here. It's kind of hard to see it because it's covered in dirt. Someone does need to clean that off. But it's there. You can see someone here in a trailer that was here before me, a different one. It has a narrower stance. You can tell it's a different trailer. That's what happens when you drop it on the asphalt. Who knows who did that? And they're going to have to... Someone's going to have to repair that now. Big holes. So that's why you don't drop it on the asphalt. The asphalt's a lot softer, especially when it gets hot in the summer heat. If you've got a heavy load in here, it's going to damage that. That's why we have this concrete pad here. Now look at this trailer over here. Dropped on the asphalt. And that one over there also dropped on the asphalt. The shunt drivers are going to have to move this back now and take time out of their day to fix all these trailers so that this doesn't happen on every single one. So just a friendly reminder, there is a concrete pad underneath here. You just sort of got to look for it. Make sure your landing gear are on the concrete. Looks like I'm the last one to leave again. It's the time, six o'clock. Oh, it's time to go home. It's six o'clock, yikes. They fixed our back lot here so we can park. Oh. Who's that parked in the city driver's spot? Just over here to my left, you'll see it. There's 2025 right there. Someone must have used it because they turned it around from how I parked it. Now this purple truck is here. This purple truck is in a city unit spot. Hey, intruders. Who are you? State your purpose. Why are you in our spot? At least he's not in my spot. My spot's right on the end here. If he was, I'd move him. <laughs> if I could. No one takes my spot. It's my spot. Maybe it's one of our city guys that's driving it temporarily and that's why he parked it here. Could be, you never know. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. They even put signs up here for us. City unit. Like that. Well, there's probably a good reason. He is in two spots, though. Taking up two spots. It's okay, Josh. It's okay. Just walk away. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. feel that long at all 11 hour day on a Monday it just blew by I like it I approve off we go there's still one city truck that I'm not seeing here so I'm thinking that maybe that truck is in the shop and that purple truck is just a temporary truck that the driver is using for now probably what happened 
I mean, unless the other city driver is still out there, which is possible. But it's after 6 o'clock now already, and we're rolling out. I think it's more likely that he's in that truck, and that's why that truck is parked there. Because that's where he would usually park. It's the other truck. It's like a sister truck to mine. It's uh, similar to mine. 